What's going on, y'all? Dijon Smetley, MMFY, made Monday for you. Sorry, we have had tech glitches and timing glitches and glitches glitches all throughout these last couple of weeks. And when I tell you it's been ridiculous, it's been ridiculous. But while I was gone, one hand got cleaned up a little bit for y'all. I know y'all were just tired of seeing me looking homeless. And so was I. <laughs> no, seriously though, barber prices are no joke these days. And you know I'm telling the truth. But your boy is back. And I promised a few people that I would do this no matter what. So it was either this or go live. So I'm coming with it today. So once again, we are taking it back in 2024. Yes, that's right. Once again, we're going to take it back in 2024. Now, last time I said I was going to break down the three things I said I wanted to take back this year. And matter of fact, number two on that list is one of the main reasons why you haven't seen me in the last couple of weeks. And that is because I have dedicated this to so many other people that I forget to dedicate some to myself. And that is take back your time, especially your personal time, your PTO. You'll prepare the others because you're not gonna be there. When I tell you that it has been a struggle these last few weeks to not only balance things between trying to throw this amazing headshot party Shout out to everybody that came out to the headshot party. Oh, we had a blast. We had food. We had great headshots. We tried out the new branding set, and it was amazing. And thank you all so much for coming through. But between that and work and family obligations and dealing with um, family members with alcoholism and so many other things, it has been very very hard to just manage my time these days so i've been having to deep like seriously study up on different ways to take my time back in 2024 and hopefully this has blessed somebody's life all right number one schedule time for yourself i know that's difficult and i'm not a parent so i will never say parents is easy just schedule some time for yourself no those little humans are unpredictable so i will never tell you to just it's going to be that easy no i will never lie to you that bad but if at all possible figure out some kind of way to schedule time for yourself whether it's a few minutes a few hours honestly a few days are not out the question but scheduling some time for yourself just finds ways to actually prioritize yourself because you have been prioritizing everybody else. When is the last time you prioritize you? And yes, you matter. But I don't have to say this over and over again until you get it right. You matter. So please schedule time for yourself. Tip number two. Friend, you have some habitual line steppers in your life, and it is time to set some boundaries. Matter of fact, it's time to set some boundaries with some gates, with some barbed wire. You need to set boundaries with everyone and everything that is taking up your time except for you. I love my friends. I really do. I love because I don't use that word often. Like I'll say friend or best friend doing a shoot, but for you to be a true friend, that's not something I take lightly. And I never mind helping my friends out. I don't even mind helping my associates out. However, there are just some points that a lot of people think I'm free because I'm a full-time entrepreneur, full-time photographer and I don't punch into a nine to five. No, that's true. I do not punch into a nine to five. I punch into when my eyes open to when my eyes close, whether it's in this chair or in my bed. So at the end of the day, I, my time is very, very valuable, just like anybody else, whether you have a nine to five or a sun up to sundown. So we got to do better about setting boundaries in our lives. 
And there are a lot of unapologetic ways to do it. Whether you just sit up here and, and just number one, just say no. Just say no. If something doesn't interest you or that's not something you can take on in this season, just say no. Number two, make sure that when you're, especially if you're an entrepreneur, make sure that certain times are on, on your calendar are blocked off. That's what I was talking about on the first one, as far as prioritizing yourself and, and, setting, and setting time for yourself. Make sure that you block that time off and make sure you keep that time off. No one is allowed. You will always have you will always have an opportunity to make money. You will never have an opportunity to, to take your time back. So seriously, time will always be more precious than money. So please set boundaries in your life. Tip number three, plan an activity for yourself. Now, I know, once again, it's hard with families and it's hard with couples and everything else. But set, plan an activity for yourself. Plan something that you're actually going to get a kick out of. It doesn't matter what it is. Whether it's a hobby, an activity. Now, if you if you have some friends that are not habitual line steppers, that you don't mind hanging around and they actually re-energize you versus draining you, and plan activity with them as well. But plan activity for yourself. Go to the park, go to the museum. Yeah, I'm talking about the boring stuff. Go skydiving, for God's sakes, whatever you do, plan an activity for yourself that will actually make you not only just feel alive, but truly come alive. Even if it's just nothing but just taking quiet time to yourself. Without hiding, the ha- without hiding, having to hide in the bathroom. We all know that trick. Yeah, trust me. It does never work. Little hands be reaching out from underneath the door. <laughs> so listen, at the end of the day, your time is very, very, very valuable. And you deserve to spend it how you want to spend it. So you spent most of 2023 and probably all the years before giving your time to other people oh yeah i can do that oh uh, yeah okay yeah i got you oh you don't have nobody and you feel like nobody loves you if i don't do this you're gonna feel like i don't love you okay i'll do it no no i can love you and still prioritize my time and so can you Prioritize your time in 2024, people. Dijeron Smetley, please share, like, subscribe. Make sure you share this with somebody who need, who you know for a fact needs to prioritize their time again. Okay? I love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. And if everything goes according to plan and I don't, and I can follow my own advice, I will see you next week. Take care.